Longer Ray 5 laser. I'm going to show you how to replace the motherboard in a controller. So why am I doing that? Well, I've, this is at request of a viewer that I'm demonstrating this. So why would a motherboard go bad? Well, there's a lot of things that could happen. I mean, like anything, things could go bad. You could have had maybe an overvoltage. You could have had, uh, you could have been maybe trying to change firmware and you uh, basically broke the EEPROM because it was interrupted in the middle and now it can't do its thing it needs to do. Or you could have messed up the SD card slot. Um, I've done that and I've done it in 3D printers. In fact, I've got a 3D printer I need to replace the motherboard in because the micro SD slot got messed up. You could have messed up your port. A lot of different things can happen. Not saying that longer products are bad or anybody's products are bad really. It's just things happen and this is not really all that complex but I'm going to show it to you step by step in detail. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is take the, uh, of course you're going to need to take this off the laser. I won't go through those steps because the laser isn't sitting here. And there are four screws on the back. You'll need a 2 m and alien wrench for that. We'll take these four screws out. And it's a good idea to have something to put them in so they don't run away. Okay, once you have those four screws out, this will separate. You need to do this carefully. Just fold it open like a sandwich. Now you see you have a power connection here for your power switch. It's going to take a small screwdriver. Then you have some plugs here to plug in. You also need to be careful while you're doing this not to damage the uh, flame detection sensor. Be careful you don't bend that or break it. So the new motherboard comes in a anti-static package like this. And what I'm going to do here is compare a couple things. This is your Wi-Fi here, by the way, so you want to be careful with that too. So I need to, we have a MKS LTS version 1.1 as this one here is. So now you'll need another alien wrench to take the, uh, I bet that's a two and a half there. It is. So you need to take the four screws out in the corners. You need to get to the fourth screw here. You see there are two plugs ribbon cables that plug in here. You're going to want to make sure you don't get those mixed up. So one way to do that would be to number them. I know I'm oversimplifying this uh, if you people are experienced with this, but I'm going to put a couple numbers on these. The farthest one away is going to be number one, and the one closest to me be number two. That way you can unplug those and be able to plug them back in when the time comes. Also, uh, don't lose the little nylon spacers that are under the motherboard after you take those screws out. So now we can get to the fourth screw there in the corner. I'm going to let my little spacers just drop down here on the table so I can pick them up. So there we are. So next I'm going to be taking off the power supply, or I should say the switch leads. Okay, if you look at the, uh, the two leads, or I should, those, that is a power, come think of it there. Power and switch. You'll need a small screwdriver. Hopefully you can see all this. Now you'll notice that there's a red and a black. You need to remember that the red goes to the side here where the transistor is and that the black, which is the negative, will be towards the outside of the motherboard. So if you're, you can't remember that, make a note of it. Next I want to unplug these two connectors up here 
and they are hot glued so maybe I won't do that maybe I'll just go down to the motherboard there's a plastic wire tie right here that you could leave on but to make things easier to see I'll just replace this you can cut that off that'll release this and make it a little bit easier for you to maneuver it and work on it now for your Wi-Fi you see you have this little wire right here and I'll show you on the new motherboard this little brass looking gold looking connector there if that will come off of there like this it just plugs on so you don't have to take the label and everything apart on the back side of this to get to this lead you can just unplug that by carefully tilting it up a little bit and it'll come right off just like that now as you look at these other wires here they are marked most of them for example the first one here is the Y axis and you can unplug that and the next one is a Z there'll be a little bit of, of like glue on there so be careful Then there'll be one here with a number 12 on it. Keep note where that label is in relation to how that plug goes in there. That takes everything off of this part up here. So now we could take those and put them right back on to the new board. That way you're not doing too many things at once. these are marked Z and Y and there's another one here marked probe so if you have limit switches one of your limit switches will go to that probe so we'll do the Z next then we'll do the Y now we'll move on to these other wires here we'll take this little two prong connector one and again, I'm oversimplifying this for those that are not experienced with doing this type of thing. So you saw where that came out of. It's the first plug right there. So you want to transfer this over to that location. Your next one is marked. That I'll plug so I can read it. It's marked Y. So that will go onto the port here, marked Y1. There's a Y1 and Y2, okay? That's for uh, devices with two Y axis stepper motors. And then your next one here is your X axis, it's right here on the end. And then we have one more down here, which is 12 volt plus. It's marked, and that's also marked on the motherboard. So we can put that back in place. Well, next, we can get this board mounted back on the base. Now make sure you don't get things backwards. Because remember, this little gold connector has to plug back on there next to the little Wi-Fi deal. So underneath each one of these four corners you'll need a spacer then you need to put your screw back in and the best way to do this is to just start each one a couple threads. For the next one slide your spacer in, drop your screw in, Let's get it started and so on and once you have those in you can tighten those screws down just snug them up a little bit don't crank on them or you're going to break your circuit board now we're back to that little gold connector let's place that over the top of the pickup there and push down on it and it plugs right back in so we'll get turned around I'll get these back out of the way a little bit 
And we need to put our wires back in here. Remember, the negative went to the outside. And you may need to back the screws out first. Now you want those snug, but don't crank on them too hard, or you'll break something. Just snug them up, and you can check them to make sure they're in there good. And next we have our two ribbon cables again here. I numbered them one and two, and the two goes closest in. And number one goes to the outside there. Now these will only go in one way. You, you, you can't turn them around because they won't plug in. So there's everything all reconnected. So what we need to do now is put this back together. So as it was as a sandwich, you're just folding it back together. You need to watch up here for your SD card slot and your USB port. Put that side in first, push up because that has to come up through a little bit to allow you to put the back of this down tight. Then you can just line up your holes and you can put your screws back in. Again, as you're working on this, be mindful of your flame detection. The eye that sticks out right there, it's very easy, you could break that off. That's all there is to changing the motherboard. Now, yes, but does it work? Well, we're going to find out. So as a test bed here, here's my my laser, and here's the one I just the controller I just replaced the motherboard in, and I've connected everything and turned it on and booted up just fine. Um, I do not have the laser head hooked up on here because this is a 20 watt, uh, and I don't want to uh, undo everything here. But I did swap in the X and Y axis stepper motors so we can check movement and everything. What I need to do first here is get this into light burn as a test bed. I don't want to use my longer B or my longer Ray 5 setting here because it has limits and this is not wired for limits and I'll have the head crashing. So I need to set up a uh, a mock test one here first. Okay working from the screen on here I put it into the move mode to uh, move my Laser on the different axis, there's Y, there's X. And back the other way, I don't want to get too crazy here because I don't have anything tied up. It's just kind of laying there. So everything there works. Okay, you can, uh, I just tried the home thing in here just to see what it would do. And you can't do anything because we don't have limits set up in here. I, I do have limits on this laser, but this motherboard is not wired for those limits. Okay, to find out what version firmware is in here, this has the most current, but I'll show you how to do it. From your touch screen, go to where it says Tool, and this will come up. It'll tell you what board is in there. It'll tell you the firmware version, which is 2.2, which is the most current. So with the 2.2, if you did have limit switches, and they were connected, because I mind you here they're not, then this would recognize those limit switches. And this is also where you can set the Wi-Fi up, etc. We'll go back to home here. Now I have this connected in light burn. So I'm going to go to my move panel here and move the laser from here. And as you can see, it's moving. So we are all good to go here. So there's how to change a motherboard in a longer Ray 5. It's a little bit technical, not all that difficult. Uh, something also to keep in mind, um, as I went to test this, I kept getting faults here. Then I realized that the flame detect sensor in the back was seeing the sun outside because I had the overhead door of the shop open. Once I closed that door, I was, it was, everything was good to go, worked fine. So uh, if this little eye right here it's exposed to sunlight, it's going to fall. 
is shut down. So something to keep in mind if you're getting some weird things going on. Uh, maybe your laser suddenly stops or it won't start up or you can't do anything. Make sure the sun's not shining on that sensor. Uh, kind of a little Frankenstein thing here to show you how this works, but everything does work. So I'll get this back to the person that sent it to me to, so I was able to do this demonstration. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the shop. Longer Ray 5 motherboard. Change. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.